Hola, hola, hola. Hola, hola, hola. Hello, buenos dias. Good morning, beautiful planner babes. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Daniela, the planning diva. And I am so excited for this video. Little known fact, when I was still doing my makeup videos, my beauty channel videos, I often did bark box unboxings with bugs back in the day. Hey baby, my baby bugs. I actually had um, a bark box subscription for bugs back in the day. Um, I had it for about a year and then I just got overwhelmed with the amount of toys that I got in the box. Bugs knows what this is, <laughs> but I canceled it for a couple of years and with Daisy, I decided to sign up for BarkBox again. And something I always enjoyed doing was doing the BarkBox unboxings with bugs. And now we're going to do it with Daisy as well. So we're going to be unboxing this month's um, BarkBox. So this is for the month of June. I just got it in the mail like two days ago. So we're going to open it together with Bugs and Daisy. Well, I don't know where Daisy is right now, but she'll come out eventually. But for those of you who don't have dogs, don't know what BarkBox is, BarkBox is a subscription for dogs. It's super, super cool, very cute. You get toys, you get treats, you get chews, and they're all in like a particular theme. And you can also specify when you sign up for the bark box you can specify how large your dog is and then you can customize it for either like a small medium or a large dog i always choose a medium dog because i want the bigger toys for the pugs the pugs enjoy the bigger toys and so i go for a medium sized box and and I believe BarkBox is about $28 a month. And I really like it because it gives us like, you know, new things for the pugs. Pugs are just like humans. They also need like new novel things to stimulate their senses and keep them entertained. It also helps me, um, it also helps me to it's also nice because then I don't really have to buy treats. I can just, you know, have them arrive in the mail. And so this is a treat box for them as well. So without further ado, let's get into opening the bark box. opening we're opening the bark box <gasps> and this month's theme is carnival barkers that's so cute so every month has a theme and there we have all the toys and bugs is already getting into them oh my god he loves them he loves them so much oh my gosh he immediately went for um this smack of wool toy oh my gosh and daisy is just getting into it as well so the first toy we have is smack of wool so cute it's like a two-piece um toy which is awesome like a two for one and um it's so cute this little daisy okay come on Smack was a smackable. So I actually signed up to get two bags of treats and then two toys. You can sign up to get a third toy, but I feel like two toys per month is good. But this is so cute. So we have a little squeaky in the bowl, and also a squeaky and like a crinkle in the little hammer guy. So let me cut this off, like cut the tag off. And so that is the snackable. That's so cute. That's so cute. And the pugs love these. Bugs is more interested in the treats than he is in the toys, but 
I think he also likes the toys. Daisy is more interested in the toys than she is in the treats. Okay, and then the second toy that the pugs already pulled out is this cotton candy toy. I think this is going to be a favorite for bugs because it has this like woolish texture. Bugs loves this texture a lot. And there's a squeaky in here as well. So we have the cotton candy toy. I also like cutting off these bags right here. How cute! Do you like that? Aww, bags. Aww, cutie. So those are the two toys that I got. The little whack-a-mole and then the cotton candy. And then we have two bags of treats. We have magic jerky bars and also jackaloops with pumpkin and cinnamon. So we've gotten this um, magic jerky bars before. This one is with sweet potato, blueberries, and cranberries. I don't remember if Bugs and Daisy like these. So let me, I'm going to split the tree and then give them each a little piece. Come on, sit. 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 Bugs is sitting so he gets his treat. Let's see if he likes it. Sit. Oh, what a good girl. What a good girl. You don't like it? She does. She doesn't like it. She doesn't like it. She's not a fan. But Daisy doesn't really like a lot of treats. She's not a huge treat pug, which is funny. Um, Bugs is very motivated by treats. He loves treats. He loves snacks. He loves food. Um, he begs for treats, for snacks, for food. He loves it. But Daisy is not very motivated by treats. She's a skinny pug. Okay, she's eating it now. She's all right with him. Okay, meanwhile, I will try giving Bugs the Jackaloops treat. Okay, this one is like a little circle with a hole in it. Let's see if Bugs likes it. Okay, Daisy finished the magic jerky bar, so I'm going to say that she does like it. But she's also, but she's always very hesitant about eating new treats. She she just kind of like barely licks them. She like pokes them around a little bit before she'll really eat them. Bugs loved these circle treats. Let's give him another one. Okay, so he's a big fan of the jackaloops, and let's see if Daisy likes them. Daisy, sit, sit, Daisy. Sit. She's she's just learning how to sit and she's still not very good at it. Sit. Sit. What a good girl, Daisy. Hey, sit. 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 See, she's very hesitant about taking treats from me. She always just takes it from me and then drops it on the ground and then she'll like poke at it. She'll like bite it and spit it back out. So right now she just left, she broke it in half and just left it on the floor and she's still sniffing it. She's very suspicious about treats. Okay, and then for the chew stick, we have pumpkin and honey chew stick. And BarkBox often does these chew sticks. We have them packaged in this packaging this exact packaging um and they're in this exact shape but they just change the flavors and honestly i'm not sure if my pugs really like these i have given them these chew sticks and they just kind of like chew on them for like a minute and then they leave them if they chew it on them at all so i'm not a huge fan of these chew sticks um we'll try with these this month to see if we like them but i have the suspicion that they're not going to like them and that is everything in the bark box. Um, what I like about this bark box is that we just package it so nicely. So this is the theme, Carnival Barkers, which is perfect because we are in like county 
fair season. I'm actually going to our local fair this weekend with my family, so I'm really excited. I'm going to be eating all the corn dogs, all the hot dogs, all the funnel cakes, everything. And I love all the information they provide here. And I love all the stuff that they print out on this little packaging. They have some tips for like keeping your pets safe in the summer. Some cute designs here. Instructions on how to play a little game with your pop. They have like a little cutout that you can cut out this section and then have your dog pose with this photo <laughs> with their little hot dog body. That's funny. And something that's interesting with this printout, usually what they would do with this printout is they would print out all of the different toys that people receive with their bark box. Like there's always about like eight or nine different toys that you could receive and then everyone receives two of the different eight or nine toys and then so and so they print out all of the different options for toys and so if you're interested in any other toy that came out with this collection you can then go on to the website and buy it individually i have never done that honestly because i already spend enough money on this bark box alone i don't need to be buying more toys plus we already have enough toys so we don't really need more toys in this household but I think that bark box was super fun. I just love opening up the bark box with the pugs. Hey baby, come here. Because I know they enjoy it a lot too. And again, it's like something new and fun to do with the pugs. I try to give them new experiences and keep their life interesting and entertaining. All right, everyone, thank you so much for checking out this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Mom.